Uh, I've actually been inside, I think it's called the Sling Whisper. Honestly, it was really fascinating to learn about it and just see all the different components. Eighth grader Lily Tiamiko may not be at school today, but that doesn't mean she isn't learning. What do you guys think would happen if the engine were to quit? Like you're flying up there and the engine quits. About 150 Torrance Unified high school and middle school students, all of whom have an interest in science, technology, engineering, and math, are participating in the sixth annual STEM Day at Zamperini Field, learning what it might be like to have a job in one of those fields. I think the most interesting part of this is probably getting to experience what a daily life of a test pilot is and how certain mechanical stuff work and how it all works together to make one invention that's revolutionary. This airplane, the Northrop Grumman McDonnell Douglas YF-23, was revolutionary in its day. People still come from all over the world to see it at our Western Museum of Flight. Today, the kids will get a lesson from one of its designers, retired Northrop Grumman engineer, Ken Lamer. We're teaching them how certain aircraft designs can best fulfill the missions that they're assigned for. So for this aircraft, it was speed and stealthiness. And that's what this aircraft did in spades. Yeah. And if we can share some of that with them today, then perhaps the next time they look up, see an aircraft that has a certain shape, they'll think, Wait, there's a reason for that. That's what's fun to watch here. These kids are already searching for answers as they learn things like how to plot a flight path by hand. It's actually pretty interesting because they were showing us how the GPS works and how we had to connect to satellites thousands of miles away. And we were basically doing what our computer does in like milliseconds, but we had to do it in real time. A lesson that just might show up again. We have teachers here today, um, so we, we're tying this back into the classroom. So each teacher is here with their own group of students. They've helped design the curriculum for the various workshops today with industry folks. Well, I was one of those kids who grew up in a flying family. Pilot and STEM Day organizer Ann Minder says it's important for kids to learn what's available to them right here at home. And I guess the best comment that we ever heard was last year. Um, one of the female students turned around as she was leaving and she goes, you know, they take us to these field trips two hours away all over Los Angeles. Who knew the best one was 15 minutes from school? Torrance-based Robinson Helicopter also played a big role on this day. At Robinson, we're all about getting younger folks into careers in aviation. We have over 1,100 people employed here in Torrance, and a lot of the kids don't know that we're here. But we have careers for them here, right here in Torrance, where they can get educated, understand how to fly, careers in engineering, marketing, all the way up to flight tests and piloting. Students inspired by the day at the airport encourage others to allow their biggest dreams to take flight. I would say go for it because if it's really your passion and it's really something you want to do, then what's holding you back? I'm Kim Edwards for Torrance City Cable.